Hello everyone, Paul here from Fiesta Adventures, and I am currently standing at the bottom of the Yubahibi Crater in Death Valley National Park. Now this crater was formed from steam, actually. Uh, some magma from way down below the surface started creeping up through the uh, Tin Mountain Fault, and that superheated the, uh, the water table and built up so much pressure and steam that it actually blew itself up. And uh, what's interesting about this particular crater is that in terms of geological time, it's relatively recent, extremely recent. Um, some carbon dating from the uh, cinder that they took out um, dated it to just 300 years ago. And you know, usually when we think of geologic time, it's like 10,000 years to millions of years. And so this is like really recent. Now, one thing about the carbon dating is that they, some of the experts said that the, uh, some of the carbon was uh, contaminated and um, that caused uh, dating to be a little off. And they think it may have been up to 2000 years old, but still that's super recent. Um, so I just hiked down into the crater. It's sort of steep. You can see the trail over there. Um, it uh, goes steeply up. It's pumicey, really soft, so I imagine I haven't done it yet, but I imagine getting out of here is going to be a little bit of a chore. But it's really nice to be at the bottom of the crater, and you can also hike around the rim of the crater. Um, so that's probably what I'll do next. But anyway, it's definitely a worthwhile little journey down here. It has a really surreal feel down here. The floor of the crater is like super flat and uh, has some nice colors and beautiful rock. So one side of the crater is kind of cindery and dark, and then the other side is actually uh, much more colorful, reddish and orange, and pretty nice little hike. All right, people, so I just hiked out of the crater. It's about, it's nearly 500 feet of climbing, and there's two trails out. There's one less gradual over there that goes down, and then there's a steeper one over there where you see those people who unfortunately uh, followed me, and so, I would de uh, recommend the more gradual trail for both the up and the down direction. All right, everybody, following the uh, trip down to the bottom of the crater, I took a walk around the perimeter, which is really nice. It's super windy out, uh, so I couldn't get any audio, but um, back in the safety of the van and even inside the van, you can probably hear the wind in the background. You get on the trail and you walk around and then there's a uh, little Hebe crater, which is a smaller version of the larger crater and along the trail you get a really nice view of that um, and then you continue around and get a complete uh, full 360 view of the um, Yubahibi crater and um, I would say that the walk around that I just did is certainly worth the trouble. The trip to the bottom was probably and back was probably a little more than a half mile or so and uh, there's 500 feet of elevation gain and then uh, when you uh, walk around the crater, you get a, another 500 feet. So the total for the whole hike, including down to the bottom and around the perimeter was three miles and about a thousand feet. If you did enjoy the video, please do smash that like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more material like this. Until next time, thanks for watching.